Hey guys, in my previous video, we talked about the X axis carriage, which we, we've made. Uh, and this is it the X axis carriage, which we've made in our previous video. So let's now move on to the frame. So for the frame, you will need this aluminium rod, aluminium bar, which is 20 by 20 millimeters. And it's an aluminium extrusion bar. I will put the link where you can buy this online for very cheap. So actually, this come into 500 millimeter bars and I have cut it in half 250 millimeter so i have cut eight part of it i have both four and cut cut each one into two and we have four like this which is 25 centimeter and you will also need some corner brackets you will need six corner bracket like this and also the I guess this is M5 screw with the hammerhead nut. We have a hammerhead nut here. And you will also need four like this. This is another L support corner bracket. So now let's build the base of it. So I, I have fixed one here so that I don't lose the position of the of the vertical axis. Now what I'll do is measure this distance and I will put this corner bracket here. This one which should be same on this side, on this side, yes, you can push it, and it will be the same as the other one, the same distance because we'll put our x axis on it. So let's just fix this in place. like this yes it's fixed I'll repeat the same on the other side so here it is like this and here we go. I just try to take this and place it over here. It should go into it easily. Yes. Yes, here it is, guys. And we now have to secure this screw. A one screw here and another one here. Now I've taken this measurement of the testing it on my previous version so that the extruder is is perfectly in the middle of the the hot and sorry is perfectly in the middle of the frame. So this is it. We have two like this actually this is not too perfect so i'll try to move it a little bit and make it perfect so this is it guys our our 
One part of the frame is completed. We have this one. And now what I'll do is we'll have to place one like this. Actually two like this. Here. And the one here. But this time using this corner bracket, which I will show you in a while. This is how to insert one bolt here, one bolt here, one screw here, and the hammerhead nut here. Don't tighten it too much, just a little bit and another screw and hammerhead nut here Now you'll find more details about the frame and everything that I am making on this uh, on this 3D printer on my website which I will put the link in the description below make sure to check it if you have any queries any any doubt so now with this in place you will have to just slide it here and put it white where it touches the edge and you'll have to just take your your screw screwdriver and just tighten it once this is being tightened the hammerhead will turn in around and you will see that it has secured itself in the extrusion you can see it yes so now you have to do the same on this side just slide it and place it on the edge where where you are satisfied with the corners and just screw it in place just around four five ten and this thing should be secure enough so here it is guys we have this one secured i'll just tighten it a little bit more yes that's it and you can see it's pretty solid So here it is guys, our frame is completed. I have attached everything in place. And it's very rigid. And I will now put the X-axis motors in place. So this is the support for the for the uh, the smooth rod which I'll put here and I will screw it in place just like this and screw in place so here it is and now I will just place the coupler with the lead screw place right here and I'm going to tighten the coupler this so here it is I've done the same on the other side of the for the other side but I didn't have the regular coupler so I printed one coupler for it so this is the one and 
I will now place this one here. So we'll have it like this. Now go, I'm going to fix this thing in place. I'll just place it here and place another one here. But before that, I will have to add the x axis carriage into it. So I'll do it. So here it is, guys. I have already placed the x axis motors and I've secured it using some zip tie. And I have already placed the x axis carriage also. This is working fine. And I have secured it. Actually, I made a mistake by printing the the this this uh, support. Actually, it's a it's an extender. Previously, I was able to point a height of twelve centimeter, and now with this extender, I can point up to eighteen centimeter, which is a a good update for this printer so now what we'll have to do is add the y-axis and since the since this video is getting long I will do that in another video so stay tuned guys and if you like this video please Push a like and make sure to subscribe is if you if you have not subscribed yet and also comment any queries that you have and consider also helping me through my patreon so that i can make many more useful video like this so thank you guys stay tuned now before adding any other thing such before adding the z axis